Life is wonderful. It's filled with so many variety of experiences, and it's all thanks to time. That's right. Time is a gift that God gives each one of us. But what is time? Hmm. Good question. According to the dictionary, time is defined as the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future, regarded as a whole. Hmm. Hey, welcome back. Today's episode is all about schedules and how we manage our time. Let's learn. You might notice that your teacher has a schedule in your classroom to help you know what's next. Or maybe mom has a planner she writes in, or dad has his Google calendar. Maybe your family even has a calendar. We all have time. God gave us that, right? And we all have things to do. It's how we do it that creates a schedule. You know, God gave us a basic framework, actually, that we can work in. He gave us time, right? He gave us morning time, daytime, afternoon, evening, sleeping time. He even gave us seconds, minutes, hours, what's next? Days, weeks, months, and years in our life, in our calendar. So we're gonna look at how we use our time on a daily basis. You know, a schedule helps us make sure we fit in all the things that are really important to us. As Father Moon said once, if there is a person who makes 365 days of a year into victorious days and lives a grateful life, that person can feel that with God, they're living a truly worthy life. You know, we need to make sure that each day we use our time well. It's anything like doing our homework, making sure to eat, having time to practice for our favorite sports, or cleaning our room. You know, when you think about cleaning your room, you might really dread it. Oh, but if you schedule in 10 minutes every day after dinner, then you make that big daunting project into a little bitty thing. That way you're not worried about a friend coming over and cleaning like crazy for one hour. You can do this in lots of different ways. And you know what kids, it's not just you, it's us parents too, always working on our schedule. Rain break, so many things to do and so little time. It's like juggling with napkins. Whoa! Here's some napkins. Can you try? Wow, there's so many things to do and not a lot of time. How do we make a schedule? Well, it's good to start in God's words. In Mark 12 30, it says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. So let's set it up that way. So I guess we can use these items to help schedule our life about the most important things. That's right. And the first one is loving God with your heart. So we want to schedule in heart time, mm. uh, which is our relationships, our friendships, time with mom and dad, our siblings, growing our heart, loving people, and building a connection with them. Yeah. And then next is our soul, right? We want to grow our soul. So we need to schedule in time to spend with God, right? We make an appointment, say, God, I'm going to meet you. We pray. We take time to connect with him. We also want to check in with our own hearts, right? Our own soul and read about God, study, meditate, maybe take a nice nature walk to clear our mind and clear our heart so that our soul can be fed. And next we want to make time for our mind, mm. growing our brains like at school or in daily life, just learning new things, studying, reading, uh, sharing together some cool new facts. It helps our mind to grow and expand and learn new ideas and ways of life. Yeah, and our body is a vehicle that we do all these things in, so we need to schedule time to take care of our body. Brushing our teeth, exercising, eating three meals a day, taking time to clean ourselves and wash ourselves and, and get in exercise. These things help our body grow and stay healthy. And while we did the four in that Bible verse, we also love to create life around the three great blessings. And the final one is about the environment. We hmm. want to take care of our environment. So making time to do our chores, to be a helper, to a friend, to a neighbor, um, or to volunteer in the community. Yeah, keeping things clean so we can live well. The final thing is, well, the purpose of life which is joy. We want to bring joy to God and joy to others, joy for ourselves, scheduling some time for play, for artistic expression, for listening to music, for going out with your friends and running around. These things bring joy to our life and stimulate our whole body. Woo. 
So let's honor God with our whole life. Schedule in time for the things that matter and become the person God meant you to be. So this week, I want to challenge you to make your own schedule. Look at the things you do in life and write it all down. Share it with your parents. Ask them, what's our family schedule? And make sure you're all involved and on the same page. All right, well, it's time to share and discuss together with each other. So here are some questions you could talk about. What is time? How does the schedule help us in our daily life? What are the six areas that we talked about today that can, we can base our time on? And think about your day. What are some things that you are very good at making time for? And what are some things you should maybe make a little more time for? And remember, there's only 24 hours in a day. So if you can't do everything on your list every day, it's okay. Maybe some things are meant for once a week or once a month. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you had fun today. And we will see you next week for homework. Woo! <laughs> we'll see you there. Bye.